From a vantage point, you get to understand why they call it the city under the sun. From green spaces to rising architectural masterpieces that seem to defy gravity, giving you bad eye views to live for. This is the Global Trading Center, an iconic piece of architecture, an identity, and an ode to the city skyline. Here lies a work of art that can perhaps be described as the magna opus of Nairobi. GTC has become synonymous with the skyline of Nairobi and today we are touring one of their listings. This space starts on 7.5 acres. Did you even know there was that much space here? And I want to help you understand basically how this lot looks like. They have about 300,000 square meters of construction space made up of these four blocks that makes up the apartments. Then there's the GTC tower, which is basically what we see a lot of the tents. And then behind it, there is the JW Marriott. I hope you can get a shot of that because people have to see that. And today we want to go inside and tour one of their three bedroom resting. All in suit, 175 square meters. The place has very nice amenities. I mean, I could go on and on about the amenities like the swimming pool behind me, a fully equipped gym. They have a helipad because I mean, who wants to use the expressway when, you know, you can afford apartment at GTC. So let's go inside and see what this apartment has to offer. But remember, the apartment is just like an arm. The whole body is what GTC offers. You cannot ignore the whole complex and just look at the apartment. You have to look at it as a whole. Did I mention that they have a, a movie theater? As a resident of the GTC apartment, they get access to this movie theater. And the sound here is so good. We have lowered the volume so that you can hear me, but just listen. It's so clear, it's very good, clear, well padded, as you can see, and also spacious. And this is just one of the amenities that comes with being a resident of this apartment. Being a member of uh, the GTC community, you get access to this uh, gym, fully equipped gym. As you can see, they have treadmills there, you have this uh, bike. Some of these equipments, I don't even know how to call them or how they are called but I'm sure those people who go to the gym understand what all this is. Let's go inside and have a look. Follow me. And we are off the floor at the 24th floor. And uh, this wing has two apartments. That is, uh, so we have a, a compact three bedroom on that side, and you have a, a large three bedroom on this side. So let's go inside and see what the large three bedroom has. Before we go in, we can see the basic layout of the apartment. It's uh, 175 square meters, one living room, one dining room, one this DSQ, five bathrooms. It gets two parking spots. And uh, yeah, let's let's go in and see what we get here at GTC. Before we go in, you know I have to look at the lock system. And this lock system has a dub paint, as you can see. Uh, comes with a cord. Cord, uh, there should be, you can close your door with a cord. And uh, there's also a space for your key. Yeah, so you can lock it. And I know some people feel that they don't want to trust, uh, uh, you know, too much electronics softwares. So you can use your key for that matter. And uh, yeah, let's walk in. The door itself, I have to say, you can feel that it's quality door. It's also very big. You can I believe you can open this? Yeah, yes, you can. So it's it gives you a wider space for in case you need to move in a lot of stuff or you have a lot of things uh, moving in 
and you have the peeping hole there. So that's green. Uh, as you can see here, we are welcomed by this cabinetry that forms part of your console, like a table console, but in this case it's a cabinetry. Very nice. I like the finishing. Very smooth, by the way. And uh, we have so much space for stuff, again, that you would need maybe when you're rushing out, you know, keys and so on. And it's just a good space to have. You can even put in shoes here. In fact, we have some shoes there, as you can see. Yeah, and the tiling. Cannot not mention that because as you can see, well polished, bright colors. I love the tones of these apartments. Moving on, we have we are welcomed to your living space. And as you can see, the amount of natural lighting that you get in this apartment is crazy. And uh, the views as well. From this angle, I can see Britam Towers. I can see almost the whole of Nairobi, the whole of Upper Hill is on this end. And this space makes Kempiski look so small. I mean, we're on the 24th floor, but it's like you have the whole of Nairobi laid out for you. Really, you're capturing that, huh? My goodness, the space is just uh, really amazing. I love the staging down here, really amazing. Yeah. A chandelier. Yeah, yeah, but I feel like the chandelier would sort of get in your way for the views. Because I'm even picturing this at night, there's no a single moment in this house that you're going to get tired of the views, right? And I don't think I'll ever need these curtains. I'll probably do away with them. Yeah, why do you need curtains on the 24th floor? But they are there in case you need them. However, I wouldn't need them myself. I just have the open space like that. And uh, here you have your TV area if you want a TV. I think it would be okay with me like that. The staging is just perfect. I'll just leave it to go, to be like that. And uh, I love the, the minimalism in this area. There are not many things. The simple coffee table. This, this, um, this is really nice. And it's heavy. I love it. And uh, what do, you, what do you think of the staging? I think the staging is awesome. Yeah? Like uh -huh. For my eyes, the only thing lacking is the Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. The, the ceiling is so well done that you, if we didn't have the downlighters, you probably not notice that it is uh, gypsum. Yeah. yeah, you'd think it's uh, part of the. You, yeah, part of the, the, the roofing. Yeah. And uh, moving on, you have this dining setup. Again, really nice. I love the table is really nice. I love it. And there's even the seats. I always have to test dining seats because it's not easy to get comfortable dining seats. These ones are good. Yeah. And the staging looks like we are going to have a meal here. <laughs> yeah. So. It's a really nice one, and uh, at least now here, maybe you're happy because you have a sort of a chandelier, and uh, yeah, looks really amazing. Yeah, artistic, I could say. And uh, here we have a door that opens up to your balcony, and this balcony faces Upper Hill on one side. On this side, you face uh, Boretum, you face Kilimani, uh, space Kereshua, you can see the farther side of Westwards, and for me, you can also see the blocks that make up uh, GTC really well. Some of the blocks that is, and you can also see the expressway, right? Yeah, mm. yeah. and I love how this this is a bit high, so you, you don't feel too exposed and you feel sort of protected. Even if you have kids here, you, you wouldn't be throwing your eyes all the time like, are they safe, are they safe, yeah? Yeah, so and it's a, it's a big spacious balcony as you can see with this, actually these seats are very big. I, I can actually sit here and you can see how big it is. I, I can't touch both sides, so it's quite spacious. You can put a swing chair here if you want. So I also love the floor that uh, the, the tiling that they did, they brought to the balcony area. Very nice, really impressive. And, but the views for me is everything. I think for anyone who wants to stay here, whether it's for short visits, short um, or long-term stay, this, this is a really nice place to spend your evenings or your morning. 
artist as you contemplate your life on what you're doing. And moving on, you have your kitchen set up here. Uh, if you have space for your fridge, uh, you have these uh, appliances fixed, Bosch, they went with Bosch, which is, yeah, yeah the microwave. Yeah? And uh, the sink, I know by now you know I'm a double sink kind of person. And uh, the sink is actually double. But you have this just in case uh, you want to, to to you want to place some stuff there as you work on this side, and uh, the worktop looks like that. And uh, this is a stone top, and I cannot I have to say I have to mention that the the backsplash which is tiled all the way to the top, yeah. and uh, these cabinets again the cabinets here are well done yeah and we have a uh, cook the the, the the top banner and uh, let me see this 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 should be part of the hood yeah that is for the, the smoke extractor and uh, so well covered behind that uh, cabinet tree so uh, some drawers here more Cabinetry space. The kitchen is uh, this. I, it's decent for what for the location. Yeah, yeah. So moving on, you have your common bathroom here, and uh, I have to say the common bathroom is really good size, and I love the way it is set. The way it flows this way, and uh, you have your vanity set up with a stone top, and uh, the sink is um, the sink is really well done, like. I love how it, it, it incorporates into the stone and uh, yeah, this guy, I also like how the taps are all well hidden. That is the waste and all that kind of stuff and yeah, this guy floating so you can clean your floors very easy and yeah, look at how that mirror opens. The cabinetry is seamless, right? Yeah. I think this is one of the few apartments where we have seen this uh, standard of finishing. Yeah, it's very, very good. Yeah, very, very good. And you have a, a steam extractor. Yeah. So there is a, something I want you to capture here with this. Let's move in. You see, because we're in the bathroom, the sockets, they're covered. Yeah. And this is in all the bathrooms. I noticed in the, it is in, the all, in all the bathrooms. So that's a very good point to capture. Yeah. Moving on to the other side and one thing about this apartment maybe from where we are i can explain a little bit is that you can separate where i'm on the wing of the house manager or your house assistant so on this side we have the servant quarter and on this door leads outside so your house manager they can access your house without using the main door and they can also leave without them accessing the main door that is to your apartment. So you can close this door off like that. And in that case, you have separated uh, those spaces and this is a very good feature to have. So let me show you what we have on this side. This door opens to your pantry area. Imagine you'd have to put some shelf in there for it to, but it's good storage space. Yeah. And, uh, and I like how it is separated from the kitchen area because this makes it possible for you to store other stuff. It doesn't just have to be kitchen stuff. You can store anything that you want to store there. You actually don't just have to use it as a pantry. You can use it as storage for, you know, something else. I don't know what it will be, but a lot, I mean, there, there is quite a lot you can store there. And moving on to this area, this is your laundry area. And you have a sink there, you have a washing machine set up. You have uh, some cabinetry here. Seamless, neatly done tile to the top and uh, this cabinetry hides your water heating system in such a nice way you don't see it floating there and just uh, but if you open these doors and maybe really so I don't know how you're going to get this shot but you can try yeah you can and uh, there's a window here a bit hidden but brings in natural light even in your laundry area is it a window this is more like a floor to ceiling. This is actually a perfect floor to ceiling window. Because some 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 places, some houses you have been to, you find that there's a beam there. So if there's a beam, then that's not floor to ceiling. 
but if it goes all the way up down that's a what to say yeah actually it's not a window it's an open space so this brings in fresh air into your area how did i not notice this so yeah ladies and gentlemen this is not a window i've just noticed that this is open just have these steel cases well put and basically you can you have uh, air coming in breeze coming in uh and you can hear the noise of the town below us yeah and uh on this side you have your servant quarters and uh the big window every room here gets a lot of light we're talking light my goodness the views i i mean look at this space and behind here you have a toilet for so it's a men's suit servant quarter yeah yeah, yeah. so i'm sure you really want to, to capture this as well so this guy this is it for the for this space I'm standing inside. That's uh, yeah, yeah, quite a pretty small space. So that's what you get for your house manager's quarters. So moving on, let's now go to all the other side, the other wing of the house, so that I can show you. I have to say something about the, this table. So if you ever seen the table in my house, the the, the legs of the table slant in an angle similar to this yeah that's really really amazing i love uh, such details because it always ensures that whoever is sitting on these corners doesn't hit their legs and, or their knees on the the table legs so moving on to this other wing of the house we are back where we started this is the front door i can open it just like that for people to see and uh, on this other wing we have your bedrooms that is the master bedroom we have the kids bedroom and the guest bedroom and uh, as you can see you get a full fully there's a start by generator for all areas not just the common areas you have a smart fingerprint password lock and you have a visual intercom system so those are just some of the things that you get with this apartment really interesting so now we are done with that common area let's go and see the, the bedrooms so here the first bedroom is the master bedroom but i'm going to save it for the last so let's move on to the kids bedroom and uh this door the doors the doors to the bedroom they're really neat i i need to hear you say something about that really yeah they're really neat yeah they have like yeah. A, this kind of flawless shiny yeah finish yeah. and uh even the flaming yeah. and again that thing that i always notice in some of these apartments the the, the soft padding that ensures that we don't have the doors banging. We, they brought it here. I noticed in some, some, some of the other doors, it's, it's different from this one. This one is a plastic or padding, yeah? not a proper one, but I believe it works in the same way. And it's just a good thing to see. And uh, moving on to the kid's bedroom. Stage as a, as a kid bedroom, but I mean, you can have it for your guest or, you know, I don't know. Uh, really spacious as you can see uh, remember we're on the 24th floor this is actually not even the highest floor right yeah. so you can imagine yet look at the views let me move back so that people can see all those views damn it's amazing so this side you're facing parklands and uh, you can see Kilimambogo from afar. I believe, I strongly believe that early in the morning, you can spot Mount Kenya from this place. And maybe we're going to come back here one of these fine days. Actually, in the morning, I could spot Mount Kenya in the morning because uh, it was a bit clearer than it is right now. But on a clear day, a very clear day, you should be able to see Mount Kenya. And imagine waking up to that kind of views. And uh, those views took me for a while. Let's now go inside the bathroom. We show them what you get in the bathroom. And uh, in this bathroom, you have a very nice vanity setup, as you can see. I like the angles here and floating as well. Easy to clean the clothes, more spaceful, things that you would want to place here. Um, 
this cabinetry opens up like that. The mirror is very good size and uh, you have your walking shower here, opens up to this side and wow, that's uh, very nice and uh, airy and also spacious bathroom. And I want to close this door so that you can see the window behind here. So we just have to come to the outside so that you show people that window. And as always in this channel, on this channel, we have to mention the windows and that is good size for a bathroom window. From top to down, from the ceiling to the floor, right? The tiling also is very good. I like how they maintain these uh, bright colors very very interesting for the bedroom you can see it's uh the wooden laminated and uh yeah it's a very good good setup so moving on to the guest bedroom what is staged as a guest bedroom and it opens at this point so that's the door and uh, you're welcomed by this cabinetry which makes up the wardrobes and i uh, noticed something is i need you to be nearby to for people to see this the moment you open the cabin, the, the wardrobe door, the lights go on. So let's see that. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, and uh, very nice drawer setups. So there's enough space for anything that you'd want. And very seamless, built into the wall. Looks very neat. And the next door opens up to the bathroom. Uh, bathroom is almost similar to the kids bed bedroom but uh, this side the vanity here is uh, set up in a different way uh, you have a sink there you have uh, this cabinetry opening up along the mirror it's very big you have uh, your shower here shower room and again the window so you get views in this house from any angle whether in the sitting room the kitchen the balconies in the bathroom or in your bedroom is this not amazing so again, I'm facing Packards and uh, Kilimambogo on the fire. I can spot Dika Road from this point. And I can even see Karura Forest. At this point, you realize how Karura is big and the number of, the, the amount of trees that are there. My goodness, that's a game in the heart of the city. And moving on to the bedroom space. Yeah, welcome to the guest bedroom. I heard Ray say that this was his favorite bedroom. He kind of liked this more than master bedroom. So maybe people can pay attention so that they tell us in the comment section which bedroom will appeal to them more, this one or the master bedroom. But basically, this is the setup. You have a sitting area here. You have this uh, table desk setup here. Really neat. Make, this room is so spacious one thing you have you have to give it for that i believe if you have so many guests you can even have two beds here but if it was for me i'll leave it just like that it looks very nice just and uh, the artwork is neatly done very simple you don't have many things in this apartment but the little that is there is just enough it's a very minimalist look and i love it the tip look at that desk here and uh, I always say that uh, these are goods I'm sure uh, especially for women they would want to replace this one with a mirror so that they can have they can do their makeup from this point uh, for men you can sit here when you're wearing your shoes or when you're thinking about the mortgage because the mortgage has to be paid <laughs> but it's a very nice setup to see and uh, I just love to see it the bed looks nice there and the room is big because if you compare where the bed is and all that space that you can put more seats there if you want and uh, or another bed and the window again tons of natural lighting coming in to the apartment right yeah. and these windows they open you should show people that because don't think that they're just uh, there for they open so you can now hear the town going on with its business below you and uh, what a view wow <laughs> so for these views it's value for money i'll give it for the views the views for me are everything and if a house can give you this kind of views and finishing 
then I, I believe that, that, that that's it, that's all you want. So now we want to see the master bedroom and uh, the primary bedroom. And uh, this door opens up to your primary bedroom and immediately you walk in, you have this cabinet. Really, so I want you to get close so that we can see that you light up when you open. Ah, uh, no, in this case, we just have uh, shelving cases, as you can see. Space to put your things. Yeah, and uh, Willis, just come inside because on the other side, opposite, let's go to that door like that. This side, we have your walk in closet. And I notice as I walk in, it will light up. And let's go. Nice, right? <laughs> and this is a perfect walk-in closet. It's not a wannabe, you know, walk-in closet. And I like the spacing. I like how it, it is well done. You can even these corner spaces are be well utilized. They're not wasteful. So, and how it lights up so that uh, it makes it easy to see what you're trying to reach. Yeah. yeah. So don't even need to put on the lights above. If I mean, if it's lighting up when you walk in, this is this is very good and. The cabinet is well done, very neat. That I love to see such things, such details. You can tell that they were very keen to details. Um, you can just leave that door like that. And welcome to your master or your primary bedroom at uh, the GTC. This is a, a large bedroom at, on the 24th floor, yeah? And I just, I can feel the outside pulling me because this primary bedroom gets a balcony a very special balcony, almost similar to the one in the uh, sitting area. And, wow, where is, what do you think? I, I need to hear your sentiments on this. Uh, it's amazing, but uh, the guest bedroom has more space. Than <laughs> yeah. I think that's the selling point for me and Ray, yeah. for the master bedroom. Yeah. For the master or for the guest bedroom? For, yeah. for the guest bedroom. For the guest bedroom, yeah. yeah. I, I kind of. I, I get the fact that there's a balcony on this side, yeah. so they wanted to. Oh yeah. So if you consider the space that went to the balcony, yeah. if you consider the fact that it has a tub, as we will see, yeah. then maybe you can see where the space went, yeah. and also a walk-in closet because yeah, so, yeah, the, so. the the guest bedroom had a hallway, but they have a walk-in closet. Yeah. yeah. So maybe you can see where that space went, but I also have to say that the windows or rather the, this, uh, this is really not a window, this is a sliding door. And uh, okay, one side you have a sliding door and the other side you have a window. And the way they bring in tones of natural lighting, that makes it win for me. Because in this master or the primary bedroom, it means I have views of park rides, I have views of Mount Kenya in the morning from my bed, my goodness. From my bed, I don't have to wake up. And like I said, if I was staying here, I would never want the curtains on. Never, never. I can see the moon from my bed. I can see Mount Kenya in the morning, my alley in the morning, that is. I can see Kilimambogo even right now. I can see it. You can see where Modaiga, you can see Dika Road. Hey, you can see almost the whole of downtown is in front of you. And on this other side, you can see Upper Hill. You can see all, I mean, do I have to mention all these places? Or people, let me just let people see for themselves. I feel like I have done enough talking and this space should talk for itself. So you are um, blown away. So these are two. These are Yeah. How much from this angle you realize how greenery Nairobi is obviously not everywhere. People are cutting down trees, it's sad. But when you're here, you're going to enjoy a lot of greenery and hopefully these trees will be here. Most of this one will be here because for example, this is a, this is a public institution. So there's no way these trees will ever be cut down. They'll always be there. And that's, that gives you a good view. On the other side, Karura will always be there. It's going nowhere. Wangari Madai fought for it to be there for life. Michelest, well, or shine on. Uh, and on to the bathroom. I love this bathroom for one reason. We have been to many bathrooms by now, with this, And uh, not any of those bathrooms, we have seen two sinks. And I don't know why developers forget that part, 
but in this case avic international did not compromise on that and it's a very good feature to see i'm sure we will see more on double sinks in other places but this is the first time we're actually coming across a double sink setup it's a very good consideration to have and i don't think if you're paying that amount of money for this apartment whether it's for a short visit or a long-term visit you don't want to share such certain things so it's just good to have two sinks and um, in your bathroom that is and this mirrors as well and in case you're just using the apartment alone you can use this one today and this one in the you can use this one in the morning and use, or use this one in the evening <laughs> so space for your towels have your toilet there and uh, your walk-in shower here next to it you have your bathtub and I like how it has been incorporated to this section and they didn't leave it open they put a stone all around it and the finish is quite good yeah yeah, yeah. and then blinders just in case you want blinders like I said we're on the 24th floor I would never need the blinders at any day in I would just have it open all the time oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> Who are these people? I don't know them. <laughs> and you have your rain head there, you have your hard held. Quite, a, quite di a decent space. It's good use of space. This is not the biggest bathroom out there, but I mean, look at how, yeah, you know, very good use of space. Very good use of space yeah? Right? Yeah. yeah. And at first, when I was told that it's at uh, 175 square meters with um, a three bedroom apartment with a servant quarter. I was really curious because we have seen other apartments that are that size and I remember one we visited we would see where it was and we complained about the spacing but in this case you can see that the 175 square meters doesn't feel small yeah so there's very good use of space and not much space but very good use of space it makes you feel like you have a lot of space like when you go back and like wait these are 175 square meters it feels bigger than that yeah so Moving on, I think we have seen pretty much in this uh, area and uh, wow, I want to step out to this balcony again and maybe just ask our viewers whether they would actually stay in this apartment. A lot of people have, I've seen a lot of people uh, comment differently about these apartments. The pricing of course is a major issue and uh, some people complain about the locations as well but i want to hear your views and your honest views and before you give your honest views just ask yourself in term in reference to where the the location because gigiri should just be a few minutes from here the airport via the expressway is very quick access to the expressway just meters away from the expressway from your balcony you can see express even from your bedroom's balcony i can see the expressway so in terms of access, you are at, you're at the center of it all. You want the restaurant's nightlife after you're done with your work? It's just here. You want uh, Kilimani, the heartbeat of Africa? Just a few kilometers up the road. You want to go to the park, Aboretam, Uhuru Park, Karura Forest, the views. What do you think about the apartment? I want to hear your views. That is the viewers that are watching. Really, I know you love the apartment. I know, I know you would stay here if you... Yeah, yeah. So let, let, let's just hear from other people in the comment section what they think about. Can you please show them this? Because... <laughs> you almost have a 360 degree of Nairobi from this place. Wow, that's amazing, right? Yeah, we, sh we should probably wait a few more hours to see how this place looks at dusk. For now, my name is Mark Mansa, happy to be your host. And behind the camera is Willis. Willis, I'm sure you have enjoyed this show. Yeah, me too. I've really enjoyed this one. JTC is one of a kind of place and uh, Avic uh, International did a good job and if you, if you want to reach them or you're interested in this listing, 
you can reach uh, them via Vincent. We leave his contact them below. And uh, you can also consult with us and we'll be happy to answer all your questions. I'm sure Raymond is somewhere doing the B-roll. So let's go and catch up with him. Bye-bye.